Well, I've lived through the Erskine experience for over 40 years. And I can tell you that uh, what we're getting now through our mark is far superior than anything I've ever seen. Uh, we are the first account in South Carolina for Aramark Higher Education to have both food service and facilities management. And we're proud of that association. We welcome the opportunity to be a showcase school for Aramark because we realize the, the value that they bring to campuses. We have enjoyed a shared services relationship with Aramark since 1991 in our food services area. We felt like the way we could best address facilities matters on our campus and address that piece of the strategic plan was to look at partnering with someone on the outside that had more knowledge uh, to bear than honestly we did about ourselves. Aramark saw it as an opportunity to bring uh, our facilities team in place and improve on the curb appeal and at the same point in time tell them all about our capabilities uh, from the facility side. And we had a transition and this was the time to do it, to take a good look at outsourcing with a good company. That is what Aramark is, they're a good company. Well, first of all, Aramark was a known entity, and to some extent, even though we create a, a level of playing field as possible for the two firms that competed for this business, to some extent it was difficult at times to do that because we had such a positive relationship with Aramark already. It's exceeding expectations, you know. Um, our competitors can do a good job, but exceeding expectations is what we do. Seeing the opportunity that uh, the client was looking to um, possibly outsource the bookstore. And uh, once I realized that that was a possibility, um, kind of used that as, as leverage to start talking about um, outsourcing facilities. I wasn't all that disappointed with the way our campus looked. We had good people working for us. But I was interested in seeing it even better than we had it. So I, I, it wasn't out of frustration with what we had so much as a feeling that we could do better. And uh, I think we have done better with our mark. I mean, one of the key challenges was um, the, the employees and facilities. Um, I think it was very important that we made um, benefit packages that were um, good for them was going to be even better than what they had with Erskine College, taking care of them. I think that was one of the keys that the client stressed. It's one of the things that we wanted to do as Aramark was really take care of them. We would not partner with any firm that we felt like was not taking care of our employees. And we wanted our employees to be either equal or better than they were when they were with Erskine. Really, the biggest challenge we had in the whole camp was that it was converting from a self-op to a contractor and that probably is the only challenge in my opinion that you have from a self office taking care of the employees. That was their number one concern which is what it should be. Immediately following that announcement the next several days that whole week was dedicated to one-on-one -on -one interviews with those employees to ensure that they understood uh, you know that we were coming in to um, help the school become better, um, that no one was losing their jobs uh, and to introduce them to Aramark. I think the biggest challenge is because we are dining, they don't know us as facilities and building that trust that we can do the facilities part also. It's, uh, it's kind of difficult to think of us as anything but dining when we've been there for 15 years and we come in and we introduce ourselves as a facilities partner also, we have to gain that trust. The biggest challenge was getting their confidence, earning their respect and confidence and uh, I think the way we overcame that was to treat them with respect and uh, dignity, uh, not come in and say we were gonna, that you did a lousy job and we're going to change things and do better. Uh, we emphasized that we would make changes and we would try to do better, but we, we kind of emphasized that we were going to bring in new techniques, new equipment, and new leadership. Uh, some of the key challenges uh, throughout the process was the client wanted to uh, to keep the uh, fact that they were outsourcing uh, facilities quiet. They didn't want us to. Uh, they didn't want to, to have the entire campus community to know that they were outsourcing. We 
we were interested in landscaping. That's important to us. I think uh, the way the campus looks is a, a, a key feature in recruiting students. Beyond preventative maintenance, deferred maintenance, our front door is important to us. Not only what happens inside the buildings, but what you see on the outside when you arrive to the due west South Carolina community. We felt like we needed a comprehensive landscaping plan to propel the campus for the next five to ten years. When I met with the Airmark team back in December, I was impressed from top to bottom with their leadership. I mean, everybody seemed to know what they were doing and were experienced. One of the things that they focused on was uh, the position held by Randy Moore, the dining facility manager, and elevating that position, leveraging the strong relationships uh, that he had built on campus, and helping us to build a strong facility program. It's smart that Aramark had the good sense to name somebody on our campus who know our, knew our operation, who knows it from top to bottom, and who can deliver the kind of service that we look for at Erskine. I think the, the key in the whole vertical sales part is the relationship. I think that you have to have a great relationship with your clients that they have the trust in you that you can get the job done. Building that relationship, building that bond, uh, if Greg did not have trust in me and my abilities uh, to run the food service establishment every day, um, there is no way we'd have been able to sell facilities as well. So building those relationships, uh, building those bonds is very important. The main uh, thing that helped me to determine uh, what we should do was the history of Aramark on the campus and to be able to go to one man, namely Randy Moore, and say, this is what I want. If you're exceeding the client's expectations and you're doing a good job and you're building those relationships, then you can, you know, you can introduce uh, the possibility of, of doing facilities, you know, making that vertical sale. But you gotta, you gotta take care of business. Our commencement speaker this year is a retired history prof, professor, Jim. Geddes. And the, the first things he said before he started into the main part of his address, he says, I don't think I have ever seen the campus look this great. But I really think that Aramark is a good company and are worth everything that I've heard about them. And we were pleased that Aramark heard us, they listened to us, they modified the contract to include this and tailored it for us, and, and we're excited about where we go from here. Just we, it just feels like we have our hands in on, on everything and we're just able to, to exceed the client's expectations and we're just thriving here at Erskine College. Great, great vertical sale. It was, uh, it was what we worked for over 16 months. It was just a, a great a celebration to bring this thing together and to get it done. And uh, I think the whole operation was just a complete success.